All right, my friends, this is just a little example uh, that will get us more familiar with permutations and combinations. So the example we'll look at is this one. Uh, suppose there are 20 athletes competing in an Olympic event. And what we're going to do is first figure out how many sets of gold, silver, and bronze winners there are. Um, so in other words, we're going to find how many different like lineups of uh, gold, silver, and bronze winners we have. And then second, we'll just see how many sets of three medalists there are. Well, to start this off, so we'll kind of do part A first. Um, one way to approach this is just to kind of draw three lines that represent the podium and then say, okay, uh, for the first spot on the podium, there are 20 possibilities for uh, winners of that particular medal. And now that uh, we've populated that spot on the podium, the next spot, well, there's only 19 possibilities for who could be in that location on the podium. And then finally, that leaves uh, 18 possibilities for the third location on the podium. Well, so if we multiply all those numbers together, um, you'll get 6,840 uh, permutations um, or arrangements of people that are on the podium. Well, you may have seen so far in your math class, if you're trying to look at permutations, there's a, um, a notation or a formula that is for um, permutations of three items um, taken from a population of 20, which is exactly what we're doing in this case. And so from your textbook, you've probably seen that the little formula for that thing um, is to write 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 3 factorial. Well, 20 minus 3 factorial, of course, is 17 factorial. And so if you look at the 20 factorial in the numerator, well, that's 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 factorial, which would cancel what's in the denominator. Uh, and so what you find out is, well, using that formula or that relationship, you get the same thing. So you're not really doing anything different from what we did above by using that formula or that relationship. Um, that's just a way to count how many permutations you have um, if you take three things from a population of 20. Well, so the, um, the next part of this problem written in blue there is how many sets of medalists exist. So we'll kind of look at part B now. Well, the deal here is now the order doesn't matter because you're just proud to be a medalist. You're just glad to be there up on the podium. Well, so the point being, we have overcounted in part A, we've overcounted what we need for part B um, because now the order doesn't matter. Um, so it doesn't matter if it went Jamaica, United States, United Kingdom uh, versus United States, United Kingdom, Jamaica. Um, everybody's just happy to be on the podium. And so what we realize is we have overcounted with the 6840 um, by a factor of, well, how many ways can we arrange three particular individuals uh, on, a, on a podium? We can shuffle them around. And it turns out there are six different ways we can arrange them. Um, and again, a way to figure that out is you could say, well, if you have three people that could be on the podium, the first spot, there's three possibilities, second spot, two, and final spot, one. And that's why the total number of ways of arranging those people is six. So we've overcounted by six. So if you divide 6840 by six, why you get 1140. Well, so another way that you could handle this is by using the formula that you've probably seen in your, in your textbook, um, which is for finding combinations. So we're finding how many combinations of three items can we um, can we get from a population of 20? Um, and so what we're going to do with that is just take, well, the way that starts is you put 20 factorial. It starts like the formula for permutations um, divided by 20 minus 3 factorial. But then you'll get an extra 3 factorial. And you notice I've made that white there because the 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1, is 6. And so what that extra number is, is you're just dividing away the number of arrangements of three items um, to prevent yourself from overcounting because now the order does not matter. Um, and so 
for that reason, you'll get the same answer of 1,140 um, for the number of uh, sets of metalists. Um, so that's the difference between a permutation in which the order matters and a combination in which it does not.